guys, it's Aaron again, and today I am reviewing is the Red Turbo Ranger TJ, and this is the Lightning Faction one. Now, he's not the first Turbo Ranger, the first Red Turbo Ranger was uh, Tommy, JDF, um, TJ took over when Tommy left and all the others left, which I'm not going to go into because that's um, But there's one cool thing about TJ is he was the first African-American Red, Red Ranger leader of the Power Rangers. And I didn't actually know that until I went to Liverpool in 2019. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's a great figure. Let me give you a quick backstory on this. Now, I could not find this anywhere when it was first announced. The American Amazon did have it but it sold out in seconds and then when they eventually did get it in for some reason and I ordered this three different times when they eventually did get it in I got refunded all three times for some bizarre reason and I have no idea why so I had to, uh, so I got it off of eBay, but I did have to wait a couple of months for that because the seller I ordered it from wasn't going to receive it until he got his delivery from America. And because he bulk buyed, he uh, had to wait a few months. But um, the fact that Amazon even let you pre-order it, um, well, for me, I did it three times. And the fact that they let me pre-order it three times and refunded me all three times, I have absolutely no idea what was going on there. So I had to get it off of eBay uh, just quickly before I give you a turn around of the box. Um, I had to pay and I thought this was a bit bad but I really wanted the figure so I did it. I had to pay 45 quid for this and on Amazon on Amazon.com it was only I think 26 and I had to pay 45 um, because our Amazon the UK Amazon uh, didn't get it in and I at the time they didn't get it in as, and as far as I know they still haven't got it in, and I, I'm not convinced they will now because obviously nobody knows what Hasbro is doing. And before before anyone asks me, because I know they're going to ask me, no, I'm not getting a message Hasbro and ask what the hell's going on. I've said that in the last six videos now. So don't ask me again because it's really beginning to piss me off. <laughs> but that's just how I feel about that. Anyway, I'll give you a turnaround of him now. Of the box, rather. So you have a great picture of him on the front. Um, in classic uh, parent turbo pose coming around to the side you get a the Turbo Rangers logo on the side here as well as the picture um, and 
coming round to the back now you get a shot of the figure and all the accessories um, and this guy actually comes with both his swords which I thought was really awesome um, and also now coming around to the other side it says uh, obviously the Power Rangers Turbo logo and then the um, lightning section thing and then just right at the bottom it says the or oh, shows the Red Turbo Ranger helmet um, it's a great figure this the only downside I would say to this figure is it only comes with as you'll see it only comes with one head and in my, in my opinion because JDF was also the red turbo ranger it should have come with the JDF head as well I so I was really disappointed they didn't send two civilian heads I really I really was and I, I still am um, in fact I know some people who have been using the civilian heads from the other Tommies that have been released because some people prefer JDF and some people prefer TJ it's personal preference but and I have no nothing against Selwyn Ward I really like the guy because um, I've met him I really do like the guy um, excuse my stomach guys if you heard that um, but for me as you guys know what I'm like over JDF the Red Turbo Ranger, my favourite, will always be JDF. Always. And that's not to say I didn't like TJ as the Red Turbo Ranger. I did. I really did. It kind of, they kind of gave him some of his own storylines in a way. Um, but, uh, yeah, I do I do prefer JDF but I have nothing against Selwyn Ward um, so let's get him out of the box and have a look at him shall we so here he is out of the box looking fantastic now he's not got any of his accessories on the table because they're on the high riser which I will show you the accessories just not on here um yeah so here he is with the civilian head on which is an okay civilian head I say okay I think it's a pretty good civilian head not perfect perfectly like him but let's face it you're trying to do a head for a six inch Power Ranger figure um, and that's not easy I'll now give you a turn around of it I love the suit. I absolutely do love the suit. My one complaint is I wish it was a bit more shiny than what it is. Um, so that's my one complaint. Um, I really do love this figure. Now, Granted, when I got mine originally first out of the box, it did have a bit of a gammy knee joint. 
but what we were able to do is to slightly warm it up and just slightly bend it in its normal kind of shape. But this has happened with a couple of the fingers, which I wished Hasbro sorted out, but it is able to be sorted out if you want to sort it out. But yeah, the suit is absolutely amazing. Uh, just wish it was a little brighter, or glossier rather. Um, also, a lot of people don't know this, but the TV show suits are different to the movie suits. Because uh, for those of you that don't know, Power Rangers Turbo had, had a movie. Um, as well and the suits are different for the movie to what they are on the TV show um, but uh, yeah I really really like this figure now I don't know how you can get him now maybe if you googled him you might be able to find him somewhere for sale. I'm going to turn him so he's facing the camera. There you go, guys. Um, uh, so, yeah, I don't know where you can get him now because, obviously, Hasbro aren't doing stuff at the moment. I mean, if you Googled him, you'll probably be able to get him somewhere, to be fair. Now, I want to point out, before I show you the accessories, are some people in the, in the fandom, shall we say, have said that... He doesn't have hair. Um, but the thing is with him is he does have hair. He just has it cut really, really short. And really, really fine like what's on the top of the figurehead here. So he does have hair. So those people that have said he doesn't have hair, unfortunately are incorrect. Um, so, yes, he does have hair and I think one of my favorite things about TJ being the Ranger is he's, he can be quite, uh, in some way, he can be quite like JDF. He can be serious or he can be quite sarcastic or, but yeah. So yeah, let's move on to the accessories. <laughs> guys I'm gonna have to shout over this because it's being a pain so here are all the accessories uh, you get the auto blaster which is red with some black accents um, and you get the effects piece there you go it stopped I don't have to shout anymore so you get the effects piece which is Blue, it's kind of a see-through aqua blue, for lack of a better term. And you get, I don't know what the other sword's called. I know the one with the red bottom is uh, called the Turbo Lightning Sword. Um, you get a few sets of hands, plus the ones that are on him at the moment. 
Helmet looks fantastic. Really, really does. Nice and glossy as well, which I don't understand why they can do the figure like that. I really don't. Um, but, uh, yeah, I really, really like the accessories it's come with. And I do recommend this Ranger fully. Anyway, I'll give you my ratings now. So, my... <clears throat> sorry, guys. My uh, ratings for this is... Um, 10 out of 10. I think it's a fantastic figure. I highly recommend it. Um, face isn't perfect, but it's good enough for me and and you can tell who it is. Um, one thing I will say is I do wish the suit was shiny. Um, and I do, like I said, I do recommend that. I've probably said it about three times in this review. Um, the one thing I wish say if Hasbro does start this line again which I hope they do but it's not um, so yes my ratings for this is 10 out of 10 highly highly recommended um, if you just google lightning collection red turbo ranger you should be able to find it but the one thing I will say, unless you're really, really desperate for it like I was, don't pay an extortionate amount unless you're really, really desperate for it like I was. Um, so please don't pay any extortionate amount. But yes, it's, it's great. I really do like it like it um, I would say out of all the TJ figures we've got so far so many in head wise and I think but back in the day when we had the old flip heads that had the so many heads TJ's head was awful absolutely awful Back in the day when the Mighty Morphin flip heads were out, I had them that I didn't use the flip head form because I I never liked the heads. I really never liked the heads. Um, I only had them for a range of form. But anyway, that's the end of this review. Ten out of ten, like I said, absolutely great figure um, yeah if you want it grab it if you can find it somewhere if not then just google it you'll find it um, one last quick thing but it's not uh, lightning collection orientated I am having a custom figure made for me at the moment which I'm not going to say what it is because well basically I don't want you guys to know and I've also just got the 3D print thing back which I'm also not going to say but anyway guys that's the end of this review and I'll see you next time